tax is regressive because companies just pass the costs on to consumers. Um, can I argue that taxes on me uh, are bad because I just pass the costs on to my employer in the form of demanding higher wages? Mr. Michael? Uh, Careful Mr. Chairman, <laughs> Rep <laughs> Representative Lech. In fact, there is an argument about that, and I think it's one of the reasons why uh, employers are concerned. Normally you would think, hey, an employer is not concerned about the individual income tax because that tax is imposed on its employees. And so therefore, uh, why do they care? Well, they do care to a certain extent because to the extent that labor is mobile and moves from state to state and they have to attract and one of the things that they, they're forced to do is to attract good, skilled labor because that's the way they succeed as a business. And if, in fact, you know, one state has a much higher income tax than another state, the only way they can attract labor from a national pool would be to raise compensation to offset the fact that you have a higher income tax. So there's some economic theory that would, in, in fact, suggest that what you're saying is true. And I think if you take, you know, sort of a simplified example of that, you think about, say, uh, professional sports teams who are negotiating with free agents. And if you have a sports team that's located in a state that has no income tax and one that does, this actually has come up and economists have talked, have talked about it in the context of, you know, the recent signing of well, there was a bidding war between the Texas Rangers and the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Yankees <laughs> for, uh, I forget the name of the left-hander now, that, that ultimately signed with the Phillies. And there were calculations made that, that the Rangers bid, were able to bid less and argue to him that their price was the same as the Yankees. He ultimately signed with the Phillies. The Phillies, Philadelphia, or Philadelphia has a local tax. But Pennsylvania has a state tax that's sort of on the low side compared certainly with New York City. But I, it is taxes on individual income is a factor in for businesses too. But in general, the Department of Revenue on the corporate franchise tax assumes that a portion of it's paid by capital. I think it's about 49% or something like that. And most of that gets exported because stock is held nationally you know, so like the shares of 3M and so forth. But that's sort of a long, rambling discussion of, of the issues that are involved. Representative Black, wait, wasn't it also in the Le LeBron James signing in Orlando? Miami. <laughs> or Miami? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, versus, the, who was it? Then? Who else was in that? Cleveland. Cleveland. Okay. Uh, Representative Lesh, I'm sorry. Brief follow, Mr. Yep. Chair. Thank you. So, Mr. 